our baskets quickly filling up with habanero and banana peppers. Next we're piling on some jalapenos, a few beans, a few wax beans, a little crooked cucumber. This jalapeno almost looks like it was crossed with a bell. Might be interesting to see what it tastes like. And while we were piling on the jalapenos, I found a couple of uh, twins. First time I've run across that in peppers, I've seen a few tomatoes like that, but this one is a lot skinnier than that one. But I thought it was interesting. And we upgraded to a bigger basket, basket but I think uh, we may have to get a, a bigger one yet because I'm not sure if this is going to hold everything. Well, it looks like our upgrade to a bigger basket still wasn't enough. We got some more beans and started picking okra. And it's starting to overflow and fall out. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, but anyway, got some bell peppers, some more jalapenos, and... The basket is overflowing, so I think we're done picking for right now. Well, I hate to show my wastefulness, but this is what happens when you don't pick okra for about three days or four. You end up with a five gallon bucket of waste.